going on guys my name is adam and i'm back here with another video in today's video we're going to be doing some rotoscoping again today's effect we're just going to do this dope clone effect like you guys saw in the beginning of the video this video is going to be super quick and i just want to go ahead and show you guys how to do this all in premiere pro if you don't know who i am my name is adam i run a video editing platform called akv studios where i help filmmakers videographers editors and directors alike speed up their editing time and streamline the workflow so they can finish videos faster and get more clients but without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video but if you're new here welcome to the culture and dropping new videos every week go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss a video go ahead and like the video it helps me out a lot and also guys follow me on instagram if you want to be updated with what akb studios is doing and without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video okay guys so now we're in the video editing software and what i did first is i went ahead and got my footage rotoscope I'm using a video of lil uzi in the third lemonade music video his and hers so here's what the preview clip looks like at first and i went ahead and got it rotoscoped i used ai to rotoscope my footage that's why you see the green screen and the website i use was runway.ml i'll go ahead and leave a link in the description on a video that i did showing you how to rotoscope but what we'll do here is i'll go ahead and start by just getting rid of the green screen so first things first we want to go over ahead and go to our effects panel type in ultra key we're going to go ahead and drag that onto our footage and then we want to go ahead and go to this eyedropper tool click on it and then go ahead and just select the green and then that'll pretty much get rid of the green and then you have your footage pretty much rotoscoped one thing i like to do after is just go to my settings and then just go ahead and put it on aggressive to kind of get rid of these um, lines right here so look at this right here so now they pretty much go away and now you have your footage perfectly rotoscoped awesome so our footage rotoscope just looks like that looks awesome so now we have our rotoscope clip then we have our background clip and to do this dope clone effect what we're going to want to do is just go ahead and duplicate our clip so i'm gonna go ahead and duplicate it now we have that right there so one two three four five six so now i have five clones perfect so what i want to do first is go ahead and leave this first one alone and then what i'm going to go ahead and do now is you want to go ahead and just change the position and then also change the opacity so what i'll do first is i'll go ahead and just change the positions so i want to go ahead and move these over um, about 100 difference I'm in the horizontal so i'll go ahead and go 740 and as you can see we have our uzi in the background moving over to the right and i'll go ahead and do this one 840 so it kind of continues and you guys can see the pattern so this one's going to be 940 and then this one's going to be 1040 hope you guys are seeing the pattern now we have our five clones right so next thing we want to do is go ahead and keyframe it you can use this effect any way you want you can actually use this as a transition if you want to let me go ahead and show you guys the effect so let's go ahead and start here maybe like right here in the middle go ahead and keyframe it and go to the next clip keyframe it again next clip keyframe it again and then next clip the next thing you want to do is just go to the beginning reset beginning reset on the next clip go up one clip go to the beginning again and then reset it again so now we're pretty much we have it back to normal and then we'll go ahead and scroll all the way right here and we're going to go ahead and press the reset key keep going reset 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 so perfect so we pretty much have the effect done or the clones done so you have a dope little clone effect right there so one thing i like to do is i like to add some more sauce to it so i'll go ahead and go to our clip or go to where we made our clones we'll go to the first clip and i want to make this opacity 25 percent we'll make this one 45 percent make this one 65 percent and the next one 85. so that looks really good right there so now you can kind of see a little ghosting effect and then one thing that you can add is some blur to it so i'll probably use directional blur so we'll go ahead and grab the directional blur put the direction to 90 put the blur on 10 and we'll pretty much copy this and then paste it on all of our clips right there so you can kind of get some motion blur in there just to make it look better we should keyframe it so i'll go ahead and start here reset it here go here make this one 10 and then go here and then reset it and i'll go ahead and copy this right delete all these and then paste it on these three right here so now we have a dope motion blur effect to it that looks really great you can do a lot more with it but that's pretty much the effect in a nutshell just a dope simple clone effect you can pretty much use this in any music video just to add some new unique effects to your video you could also add a shake to it to give it a little bit more depth so go ahead and add a shake for my intensity effect pack so here it is right here we'll go ahead and add um, a camera shake let's just go ahead and use the rotation so you can add some effects like that right there fade it out like that that's pretty much the video. That's an easy way to add some rotoscope clone effects to your video. If you thought this video was helpful and you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video and leave a comment down below telling me what you think and then also what you want to see next in the future. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.